Hello everyone. Good day YouTube family. Happy New Year. Oh yes. So we know this is a season of resolutions. Are you done with making yours? If you aren't, you might just find this video useful. Now, basically, we all know what resolutions are about. They're about breaking old bad habits and building new habits, you know. We should actually, it's expected that we should spend a good number of the years trying to ensure that we pay attention to these things that we've resolved to do. Now, I just want to ask you a quick question. Have you for one second thought about your body goals? Hope you also realize that whatever it is that you plan to do this year depends on a healthy and a thriving body. So yes, today in this video, I'll be talking about a good number of things that we should break free from, a good number of ideas, school of thoughts that we've carried on for years, you know, thinking that they are right, but are actually wrong and could be counterproductive to you becoming the best version of yourself. So let's just go on this journey together. I have my note by my side, so I hope you wouldn't mind if I have to look at it once in a while because there are quite a number of things we need to break free from this year. So yes, the first one I'll be talking about today is procrastination. Yes, a good number of us just, we just procrastinate. You know that you are fat. You know that you need to lose weight. Your doctors have looked you in the eye, have told you severally. Elizabeth, lose weight, and you're not worried about it. You don't want to do anything about it. Perhaps maybe your doctor hasn't told you that weight gain itself is a symptom. It's a sign that there is something very wrong with your diet, which is what you've been eating, and your lifestyle. And it could predispose you to getting other diseases that, trust me, are not fun to live with. I'm talking about diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol issues, all these illnesses are directly connected to what you eat and the way you go about living your life in your body in terms of whether you're sedentary or you're active and all this. So please do not procrastinate any longer. If you're overweight, get yourself a good weight loss coach and do something about it immediately. The second one I'll be talking about is eating crap. There are a good number of us who just want to eat our cake and have it. You don't mind. You eat all the wrong things you shouldn't eat, you know, from foods made with flour. Basically, all the kind of things we call weight gain triggers, processed foods, the biscuits and the sodas and all sorts of nonsense. We eat them every day. And yet, you expect to just keep at it. These foods, these wrong things, these things that you hear people tell you, don't eat, they are bad, do not only trigger weight gain. They cause a whole lot of other health issues that you do not want to know about, trust me, including cancer. Yes. So please, avoid them. Lim eliminate them from your diet if possible. Reduce them if you can't even stay away from them. You don't have to eat them. These foods are filled with chemicals, preservatives, chemicalized preservatives, uh, um, um, man-made colors, you know, like the red, the yellow sunset colors filled with colorings, artificial flavorings. All these things are counterproductive to the human body. So do me a favor. Either you eliminate them from your diet or you reduce them drastically this year. The third one I'll be talking about is eating out often. A good number of us claim that we are very busy. You are so busy making money you know, or doing one thing or the other, that you do not have time to work on what enters your mouth. There was a video that I, I, I shared on my Instagram page of, obviously, it was like, you could see that it was, it, this particular meal that they were preparing was taking place in the kitchen of an eatery joint or like a restaurant. And the amount of sugar that was added into the sweet potato, it was alarming. Would you do that to yourself? No. So you must understand this because what I'm saying is the truth. Most food vendors do not care about your heart, your weight, your kidney, or your liver. They are concerned about making profits. So they will do anything and everything to make money, including cutting corners and doing all sorts of things to the food to just get you coming over and over again. So if you want to be healthy, you shouldn't be heading to a place where all they think about is profit. You should learn to make your meals yourself and at least be accountable. Make out time for it. 
If it's important to you, you would find a way. If not, you would listen to this video and still find an excuse. But trust me, making your meals yourself is the way to go. The fourth one I'll be talking about is thinking only fat people need exercise. Yes. I've seen a good number of slim people who want to encourage them to exercise. They look at me in the eye and tell me, but I'm skinny. I don't need to. Everybody needs to work out. The health benefits you get from exercising is, is something that you really, you really need. Exercise in itself is not overrated. It is not overrated. It is key. The mental health benefit, the physical benefits, even to relieving stress and all sorts of things are things that you can't do without in our very tiring world today. So please do me a favor. Whether you're slim, whether you're fat, tall or short, this is the year to make our time to exercise. At least 30 minutes a day. And if you actively want to lose weight, you should go for one hour a day, five days in a week. That should just be fine. Walking usually is one thing I would always recommend. And most people also think that walking is not exercise enough until you go to the gym and then huffing and puffing and then you feel that you've worked out. That's false. Walking itself is a very beautiful and therapeutic exercise. What it does to the human body is tremendous. The health benefits of walking is awesome. So you do not need, I repeat, you do not need to pay for a gym for you to get your, to, be, to be the best version of yourself physically, mentally, and otherwise. Walk if you have to. Use your compound, use your streets, just use any available space around you. You need it this year, please. So I will also be talking about sleepless nights. Yes, a good number of us are so, 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 so fond of looking through social media in the middle of the night, browsing, checking Instagram and all sorts of things when we should be resting. If you know that you're an adult and you sleep less than six hours a day, this is the year to stop. You really need to Put off all these distractions around you and give your body the well-deserved rest that it needs. Sleep itself has tremendous health benefits. I could do a video talking about extensively about how important it is or why it is important that we need to really sleep. So for now, just listen. You should try to just reboot. You understand me? Like, Shut everything and let your body recover. Your body has been working continuously for 18 hours, doing everything it should do for you, pumping, pumping blood all over your body, your breathing, all your systems are working. You really need to just dedicate six hours to give your body rest. We even allow our computers and our phones to rest while we're charging it and all that. So why wouldn't you rest yourself? We have to work on that this year. Better sleep better sleep and then starvation why do people just think that for you to lose weight you really have to starve yourself i know yes i used to be there before and it took quite a number of months for me to get that mentality off my head it can be very 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 uncomfortable to have to starve but you know that you're hungry but because you want to lose weight you're so scared to eat you must understand that food itself is not your enemy the reason why you're fat is because the energy which is called calories in that you eat is more than the energy that you give out which is based on the physical activity you carry out every day once you're able to understand these dynamics you would understand that it is even necessary for you to eat in the first place by not eating you could slow down your metabolism you could even end up causing hypoglycemia to yourself which is a, a condition of um, low blood sugar you're constantly dizzy you're constantly tired you know and then again because you're not eating you may not have enough energy to exercise which brings me to the next attitude the next habit we have to break free from this year the eat less move less principle why do you have to do that why do you have to eat less and move less to lose weight? No, you should eat more and move more. That's what it should be. So even if you eat, but you should move more to lose weight. You have to be able to create that calorie deficit from your physical activity. So if you eat properly right now and you tell yourself that, okay, Elizabeth, I've eaten 
a good number a good amount of food energy and you want to lose weight then you should concentrate on moving more but rather there is this warped up idea that you should eat less and move less and a lot of us do that that is not the way to go it is wrong you should eat more and move even more this year for you to be able to maintain or lose weight in a healthy manner so let's work on that this year also and then we'll be talking about people who have the habit of taking soda in place of water soda and water are two different things a fizzy drink is different from water water has a whole lot of health benefits including helping you to lose weight as compared to fizzy drinks or sodas that are, that would actually make you gain weight so please this year pick the healthy option water is available everywhere you see a bottle of fizzy and you see a bottle of water if you really are thirsty you should go for the bottle of water and ignore the fizzy drink if you really want to be very healthy this year the amount of sugar that has been added to fizzy drinks the rate at which young people are becoming diabetic these days is really alarming so please you do not want to mess up your beautiful health records this year by putting yourself in a position that you wouldn't be happy or comfortable about by taking drugs every day work on this mm? it's very easy a fizzy a bottle of water go for the bottle of water so that brings me next to my the next habit we need to break free from this year which is not paying attention to your numbers a good number of us do not even know what our blood pressure is or what our blood sugar reading is right now we've not done a test in like maybe two years please that is like you're working on <clears throat> a ticking time bomb it is important that you know what your blood sugar reading is at least far back to three months ago very key alongside your blood pressure and these days pharmacists and hospitals make it very easy you could just walk in and pay in a little sum to know your numbers so know your numbers this year mm? do not let an illness just get to you on our words you can actually nip it in the board before it gets to a very very you know precarious position so get to know your numbers this year there are quite a few of them mm? you should know your blood pressure you should know your blood sugar you should know your cholesterol levels very very important and then also we'll be talking about fat diets and getting weight loss lectures off google you know all those things you see fat belly water flat water mix mix mint and cucumber and drink it stop already be knowledgeable this year you can't keep doing that if it were easy for people to just go off the internet and become anything they wanted to be then i'll become a medical doctor just reading information of google the internet is a very porous place people go there and drop us drop all sorts of information and most of the time they can be conflicting you get to see chocolate is very good for weight loss and at the same time chocolate also triggers weight gain which of them is true and in fact there are some information that you also find on on the internet that are really very terrifying and alarming and can be toxic and lethal to you lethal lethal to you when you do them now that reminds me of a story i heard of a young girl who went on the internet and saw this lethal combination of lemon and cinnamon and she was mixing it every day and taking it every day for three months after three months she died after an autopsy was done, they realized that her liver had packed up. Why? Because of that lethal combination she was taking that had released some toxic stuff into her body that literally led to her death at the end of the day. So please, you do not need to mix things. Anything that you know you're not going to be able to do to keep the weight off shouldn't be what you should do. Because when you're done with losing weight, then you now have faced the challenge of maintaining or keeping the weight off for life. And all the time, it is what you did to lose the weight that practically takes you into maintaining your weight. So if it's not a lifestyle, if it's not something that comes easily to you, then you do not need to do it. All right, so we are going and we are getting there. And then I'll be talking about the next one, which is the 
which is the eliminating a major macronutrient from your diet. Ah, we all know that carbs are the bad guys. And I love my carbs so much. Like, I mean, I can't, I'm, I'm Nigerian and I can't do, like in a week, I would have to eat pounded yam like three or four times in a week, you know. The truth is this, carbs are not the bad guys. We have two types of carbs, the good carbs and the bad carbs. The bad carbs are the bad guys, but the good carbs are not. They are good. They do not trigger weight gain or basically they're just, they don't trigger weight gain. They don't make you unhealthy. They make, they make you healthy rather and make you, you know, operate in the best version of yourself or the best person that you can ever be so do not eliminate a macronutrient from your diet in the name of trying to lose weight you don't need to and then we now also have the extremists who will say um, an oilless diet please don't do that to yourself either the three macronutrients, macro, deliberately called macro, because we need them in large quantities and from them we get trace minerals and nutrients are healthy carbs healthy protein and healthy fat and oil and you need all of them so please do me a favor you really 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 have to ensure that this year you are having every day every day you should have your three macronutrients on your plates and so the last one i'll be talking about today is reducing your calories to unhealthy numbers why do we do that I mean, some people will tell me that they, they had only 600 calories in a day and they are women and they are active and I'm worried. Why would you do that? Your body itself even needs calories to make you see, to make you breathe, to make you hear, to have blood circulate, bloods and nutrients and water circulate around your body and then you're avoiding eating and that's wrong. That's a very wrong approach. Food itself was created before we were created because God knows that we need food. And from food, like I said earlier, we need nutrients. So you can't under eat and expect to operate like at 100%. It doesn't work that way. It's like expecting your car for you to be able to move your car without fuel in it. Is that possible? No. So please, this is the year where you have to break free from all these terrible habits and try to inculcate healthy ones. Try to ensure that you begin to work on yourself. You don't have to work out two hours in a day. Start with 15 minutes a day, make it consistent, and then work on it little by little. You could also have to ensure that at every point in time, when you see this and you see, like you see, a processed food and you see a natural version, you go for the natural healthy version. You could also ensure that you make your meals yourself more often. You also have to understand that slim or fat, you really need to exercise. You also need time to ensure that you sleep, reboot, you know, give your body that energy that it needs for it to be able to push you forward every day by sleeping when you should. Try your best not to starve. Hunger is God's good idea, so you really need to eat. And then you should also try to ensure that water, when you have water and you have a fizzy drink, always pick water over the fizzy drink. Also try your best to pay attention to your numbers. If you haven't gone to visit your doctor yet, you should do that. As soon as you listen to this video, place an appointment. And then we should avoid fat diets and getting weight loss information off Google. Try your best to eat healthy. It is important and you must realize that whatever it is that you're doing to help you lose the weight or keep the weight off, lose your weight or maintain should be what you would do to keep the weight off for life and then you should also realize that despite the fact oh yes i actually forgot one the people who feel that they are slim and so they can eat whatever it is that they like that is absolutely wrong you're slim doesn't mean that you can eat anything you like the fact that you're skinny and all the crap that you eat doesn't show on your body is because you probably have a body or you're probably the kind of people that we refer to as the toughies the thin outside fat inside people on the outside your body's capacity to carry subcutaneous fat which is this this fat is very little but your body's capacity to carry visceral fat on the inside is very high so you have to try your best to ensure that even if you're slim you're conscious of the of eating them of, of the kind of things that you eat and you should always pick good healthy options because visceral fat is the most dangerous kind of body fat and then 
try to realize that you have to eat more and then move more. And also, try your best to ensure that you're eating all the necessary macronutrients that you need on a daily basis, you know. And do not reduce your calories to unhealthy numbers. For a woman, aim for at least 1,200 calories daily, which is the least. So I wouldn't I encourage you to start with the least. And for a man, 1,500 calories. So yet, I wouldn't encourage you to start with 1,500 calories. You should go up and gradually move it downwards. All right, thank you so very much. Thanks for listening. I know it's a long video. I'm so sorry, but listen to the message that you, you, you that I've just um, sent in the video and try to inculcate them into your daily lives. Happy New Year once again. Bye.